So you need to get more clients for your personal training business. So does everyone, right? But there's one thing that most people aren't doing enough of and then complaining they're not getting the results. It's outreach. This video, I'm gonna take you through two methods and how we execute it to get the most influx of personal training clients into your business in the shortest possible time. Now, personally, my go-to has always been phone calls. Everyone I've worked with that's got exceptional results has been really, really good on the phone. If you work in a health club, that means you have probably thousands of numbers in a database, and that's literally what you pay rent for. You pay rent for the database to be able to build your business. Yeah, the equipment and the marketing and all of that stuff's a part of it, but that's what you're there for. That's why you're paying your rent. So use it. Phone calls are undoubtedly the fastest way to do it. Who do you call? People that haven't been to the gym for four weeks. Don't ask them why they haven't been in. Ask them how their training's going. Ask them what results they're getting. Ask them how often they're getting in, but don't call them and say, hey, I noticed you haven't been to the gym for four weeks. No one wants that fucking phone call. Do you want me to do that for you, for your business? No, so don't do that to other people. Other call lists you can look at is birthdays, people who signed up last month, people who signed up six months ago, people who come to the gym in the timeframes you want, like so like before, between four and 7 p.m. and any other creative list that you can come up with, get those names and start dialing. Building a business can literally just be as simple as maths when it comes to phone calls all the way down. If you were to dial a phone number morning and afternoon, and then if they still don't answer, send a text message, about 30% of people on that list are gonna to respond to you. Of that 30%, 50% on average will say yes to coming in for a free consultation. And then of those people that come in, 50% of those will actually sign up for personal training. All you have to do is look at the time frame and how many clients you want in, and then you can determine how many phone calls you need to make per week to make that happen. You can go to your PT manager and say, I need this many leads per week to be able to make this many phone calls, to get this many people in, to make this many bookings, to get this many clients, and then I'll be out of your hair because I'll have a full book. Not everyone has a call list and there is other ways of getting clients. If you're really good at walking the gym floor, you can accumulate clients much faster sometimes than being on the phone even. To be good on the gym floor, there's two options for you. Number one is you can be that guy in the gym. You can be the one that says hello to everyone, that learns everyone's name. What are you training today? Can I help with anything? Correct technique, motivate someone, comment on someone's progress. That puts you in first position when someone thinks about, you know what, I think I really need a personal trainer. The other option and the more speedy option is to get in front of someone, ask those same questions, but do it all in one session. Hey, how's your training going? How are your results been? What are you struggling with right now? That's awesome. Or I can help with that. I've actually doing a couple of free PT sessions. If you're normally here at this time, why don't we book you in for Wednesday and I can take you through what I'd actually do and see if I can help. Not everyone's gonna say yes and that's okay. And that's where most people trip up with sales. We talked about those numbers for the phone calls. Understanding that maybe even most people will say no gives you a little bit of freedom to just have good conversations with people, leave a good taste in their mouths and then even the ones that say no, you'll still be the first person they think of when they do wanna hire a personal trainer if they have a positive experience. So make sure those experiences with you are better than any of the experiences they had with other personal trainers in the gym. Now, sometimes sales can be a little bit clunky. So we thought, what's one thing that we can make a difference with at a low cost? And we thought, well, a sales presentation, something visual that your clients can see that you can read off for that awkward part where you need to ask for prices. And we decided, let's make it in your branding, not ours. So our custom sales presentation was born. Your logos, your branding, your, your features, your price points, everything you need to be able to present your service comfortably and with confidence for your price presentations. The link's in the description below, so hit that and go check it out. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and follow. We'll see you next week.